The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifteenth chapter, text number forty two, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December twentieth, nineteen seventy three, in Los Angeles. Translation Thus annihilating the gross body of five elements into the three qualitative modes of material nature, he merged them in one nescience and then absorbed that nescience in the self, Brahman, which is inexhaustible in all circumstances. Mm. <laughs> Everything is coming from that one. <coughs> the theory of conservation of energy, uh, that is, in perfection, uh, all energy are conserved in that uh, supreme personality of God. They have got little idea of this, where from the energies are coming, but not perfectly. The modern scientists, they can simply think of conservation of energy, but where is that conservation? That they do not know. That is the missing point. Here it is explain how from that original reservoir of all energy things are coming. That is the uh, lesson in Vedanta Sutra. Janmadasya Jataha. Everything is coming from one source. Jato by Imani Bhutani Jayante. These are Vedic mantra. That is Brahma. Brahma means inexhaustible, a boy. There is no uh, exhaustion. Purna, as we learn, Purna Vada, Purna Vada. Everything complete. Uh, complete, we have no idea of complete. We the thing, complete also limited, uh, complete satisfaction. Suppose you have got a bank balance, a million dollars. You think it is now complete. I am fully satisfied. But he hasn't got the complete idea. The bank balance may be one million dollars today, but if I spend it, it will gradually reduce and one day it will be zero. So that is not complete. Complete means you go on spending as much as you like, still it remains complete. That is complete. <coughs> there is a small story, uh, perhaps I have uh, narrated this story some time ago, that in a school, formerly there was no charge for a school. Uh, now everything has become business. Formerly a brahmana, he will start a school. Uh, brahmana is put on part on his business is to become learned himself and to distribute his knowledge, education to everyone free. This is Brahma. Uh, the Brahmana and the opposite word is Kripana. Kripana means miser. A miser, he has got money, but he does not spend. He keeps it. And Brahmana means he has got knowledge and he distributes for others' benefit. That is Brahma. Therefore, we are making every one of our disciples Brahman. 
Not that he should simply know himself what is God. No, he must distribute the knowledge also. Go from town to town, village to village, and try to convince these rascals what is God. They simply write in God we trust, but they do not know what is God, how to trust. Nothing. Now let them know it scientifically. Here is the movement, Krishna consciousness movement. What is this movement? To know God. Of course, we cannot know God perfectly. God is so unlimited. Still, as far as possible, we can know as God speaks Himself about Himself in the Bhagavad Gita. So, <coughs> this is meant for the Brahman. Therefore, he offers second initiation, sacred thread. That one should become Brahman, not a creeper. Maya, no. One should be thoroughly learned what is God and teach others how to trust Him. That is Brahma. Simply slogan, we trust in God and all rascals and fools. This is not good. Now we should take up this point that you write in God we trust. What is God? Do you know what is God? Ask the president, Nixon, Raskar. He will not be able to. Then who will know? If the president does not know, how the people will know? Jadjad āchariti śrēṣṭha lokastad anuvartati śrēṣṭha, the chief man, the leader, just like I am leading the society, so what I shall do, naturally it will be followed. Prabhupada so, does it. So that is applicable everywhere. <coughs> if the president knows what is God, how to trust him, uh, why shall I trust? Unless I know you properly. Uh, it is natural. If somebody says, trust this man, so my next question, I must first of all know this man, then I shall trust. Similarly, if you do not know what is God, what is the meaning of your trust? It is all childish. Slogan. Therefore the condition is so deteriorated. Everywhere, not only here, there, they have no knowledge of God. We can challenge anyone, any so-called scientist, philosopher, a politician, big, big man, huh? they know only why no man meat eating, that's all. This must their knowledge. Oh. But who knows God? Nobody. Oh. Ultimately, the rascal says, I am God. <laughs> Failing to know God, he becomes himself. <clears throat> so here is very nicely explained. How from that one, uh, prakritin janti mamika, <coughs> in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that this prakriti means nature, will be unda, again come to me within. Uh, just like the spider, the spider uh, makes a cobweb. Uh, from the saliva, uh, from him, he can work. He knows how to work on it. And again, he can wound it up. There is practical example. Similarly, the material nature, here is the part of creation. The energy is conserved. Energy is never lost or born. But this prakriti, this material nature is not uh, eternal. It is temporary. The same example. The spider, the spider, suppose it is eternal, but the cobweb made by the spider, that is not eternal. Bhutta bhutta pralīyate. It is created and again unda. Similarly, 
the point of creation comes from God. God is not created. They ask this question. They, everything is created. The God must be created. That idea comes because we have no other idea than the creation, maintenance, and again annihilation. We have no other idea. In this material world, we have no other idea. We see this body is created uh, by father and mother, then it, it remains for time, it grows, uh, and then it becomes old, and then it vanishes. Sarabhika, six kind of changes. Janma, uh, Siddhi, Parinam, <clears throat> in this way, everything in this material world, nothing is permanent. But the soul within the body, that is permanent. That is the conservation of energy. That they do not know. Where the energy is reserved and where from the energy is manifested again only. Uh, a living entity as God and we living entity, we have got the same quality as God is the reservation, conservation of all, of all energy, material energy. Similarly, I, you, we mean small particle of God's fraction, just a spark, spark of the fire, big fire, and a small spark. That a small spark has all the qualities of fire, all the chemical composition of fire is there in the <coughs> small spark, but in very, very small quantity. The drop of sea water has got the all chemical composition of the ocean. That is equality, qualitatively. And quantitatively, oh, what is the comparison between the drop of ocean water and the ocean? There is no comparison. That is difference. Therefore, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy is perfect. Achinta bheda bhed. Ach inconceivably, simultaneously, one and different. <coughs> we are one with God. And the rascals who have no thorough knowledge, they simply take this oneness. I am one with God. Uh, that is rascal. There are two things, one and different, simultaneous, uh, qualitatively one, quantitatively different. Uh, so as this body is created by my energy, <coughs> Uh, my subtle energy and my gross energy. Uh, it is also the whole energy. I am also uh, emanation from God. The total energy is God. I am fragment, fragment energy, but still I've got the same function. <coughs> uh, it's like I am put into the womb of the mother. Uh, through the seminar of the Father, uh, <clears throat> now uh, my, according to my energy, I have placed into a suitable condition. If I have what for becoming a dog, then through the seminar of the dog I am put into the womb of a dog mother. And if I have what as a God, then through the seminar of the father, I am put into the womb of a mother. So in this way, my conservation of energy worked. Uh, the supply is there, and I form the body. This body is formed. This is creation. As my body is formed, similarly this whole universal body is formed. That is creation. They do not understand. 
They are so rascal. They do not understand. The creation is a fact. And the original creator is God. Uh, so in scriptures, God created this world. That is fact. But unfortunately, they do not know how it is created. Lack of knowledge. Uh, so that is explained here. <clears throat> how things are developing uh, from the spirit soul there is total material energy. Energy is coming. The conservation of energy is the spirit soul. What is the difficulty to understand? Uh, that is permanent, abba. Therefore, there are two kinds of energy from the Supreme Soul, God. One, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhinnāme pakiti astadhā. Astadhā. Astadhā means eight. So trite, three, and pajyattam, five. That makes eight. The eight kinds of material energy. <coughs> Earth, water, fire, air, sky. These are gross. Uh, the gross amongst the gross also, the finer material energy, the sky, we cannot see. This is also gross. <coughs> Then mind, everyone knows. I am thinking, I've got mind, you know, I know. But where is the mind? Have you seen? Somebody suggests mind is in the brain, somebody suggests in the stomach, somebody is suggesting. But there is mind, everyone knows. Huh? The next final, the sky, we can perceive the sky is there by sound. Uh, as soon as this is due to sky, this sound. That is the symptom, there is sky. But similarly, although the sky you cannot see, you can understand this. Similarly, mind is there, you can understand by thinking, feeling, willing. Mind is there. But you do not see the mind. Oh, why you are so much proud? Can you show me? You cannot see your mind, you cannot see the sky. And you want to see God with your these eyes. Just see how full is there. You cannot see even the gross thing. And subtle things, and the finer, finer, finer than all subtle things. Mind, then intelligence. Simple not mind. When we think, feel, or will, there is intelligence behind that. Uh, if the intelligence is not good, simply you can you will think of nonsense. Uh, so behind the mind there is intelligence. And behind the intelligence there is soul. So if you cannot see the mind and the final gross material or the sky, you cannot see intelligence, how will you see? Uh, uh, the soul. Uh, therefore, you cannot understand uh, uh, we are in this gross situation. You cannot. Achinta, achinta. It is beyond your uh, anything which is beyond your conception. You don't try to speculate. There is simply a waste of time. Uh, then, how shall I know? You know from the authority. The same example. You cannot speculate who is your father. Uh, no, from your mother who is your father. Very simple. Thing. But if you speculate, oh, who is my father, who is my father, who is my father, that is not possible. Chirang uh, If you go on speculating without taking care of the mother, without asking from your mother, if you simply want to know 
by your research scholarship, who is with my father, you'll never know it. Achinta khuluji bhava natastar ke na jujai. Therefore, things which are beyond your speculation, don't try to uh, argue. Don't be foolish. Don't be rascal. It is how you can, because it is beyond your conception. There's no question of it. By argument, by speculation, by logic, you cannot understand what is so, what is not. That is not possible. Don't waste your time. So, similarly, we do not know what is God by speculation. That is not possible. And religion means the science of God. Religion means the science of God. So how religion, you can understand that this is proper religion. Because you do not know God, neither it is possible to speculate on God. Then how I shall accept religion? Just try to understand. Religion means the science of God. It is not a sentiment. It is science. So if you want to know the science, therefore Vedic injunction is, tad-vijñāṇārtham sāgurumeva avigacchet. In order to know that science, knowledge, you must approach guru. That is practical. Even for material science, you go to school, college to learn from the authority. How you can learn about God, about soul, without approaching a proper person who knows it? So that is the way. That is the way. You cannot speculate. Athapiti deva padam vijadnayam prasadulishanu grihita evahi janati tattam tattam. The truth one can understand who has received the mercy of God. Therefore we sing, Guru, Guru is the mercy. Uh, mercy of God. God is so merciful that He is within yourself. He is trying to teach you. And uh, internally and externally He appears as Guru to teach you. Uh, <coughs> mercy. Uh, so therefore Guru is considered as good as Krishna. Sakshad haritena samastha shastra. All the shastras uh, the Guru is respected as Krishna is respected. Shakshad haritena. Haritya. Hari means law. Some of us, all these scriptures, uh, Guru is accepted as Krishna. But he never says that I, he is Krishna. Neither he is Krishna. Then what is his position? Kintu Prabhurja Priyavatasya is the most confidential servant of Krishna. He'll never say that I am Krishna, I am God. That is not Guru. Uh, <coughs> Guru must place, but he knows perfectly well that he is serving Krishna. His business is to serve Krishna. Krishna wants all these fallen souls to be delivered because they are Krishna's part and parcel. Just like a rich man, if his son goes out of home, he's suffering. His father knows that a still boy is suffering. He's very anxious to get him back. Bring this rascal at home. That is father's concern. Natural. Similarly, Krishna is more eager to take you back. Therefore he comes. He comes. He has got his agent, the Guru. He has got his instruction, the Bhagavad Gita. The whole concern is that God is so anxious, Krishna is anxious, to call back these rascals, back to home, back to God. 
So sometimes he is so eager that he comes himself. Uh, just like I have sent some my uh, agent to do something, I am saying that it is being delayed. So I go there. Uh, what you are doing? Why it is so delayed? Uh, like that. <coughs> so therefore Krishna says, Jada jada hi dharmat sabgrani bhavati bharata tadatvanam sujamaham dharma saglani discrepancy in the uh, execution of religious means. Uh, religion means, we have already explained, religion means the science of God. So the chance is there in the human form of body to understand the science of God. In the body of cats and dogs it is not possible. Therefore, this life should be fully utilized uh, for understanding the science of God <coughs> and understanding, as do this Maharaj, now he is closing the business. Uh, the business is that I am creating this body. Just like a businessman opens a business house, uh, sometimes when the business is simply uh, troublesome, he liquidates. Similarly, we should come into the understanding that our material business is always troublesome. Is it not troublesome? Uh, practical material business. Uh, suppose in this life you have got all good facilities, you have got a skyscraper building, nice. You, suppose you are Mr. Ford. Uh, he was the very rich man in your country. Sir, where is Mr. Ford now? Huh? That they do not see. That they have no eyes. Huh? In Paris I saw some statue of Napoleon. There is written, Napoleon is France. France is Napoleon. But I inquired, that where is Mr. Napoleon? The France is there. But where is Napoleon? <laughs> you see? This is called ignorance, Maya. Uh, when Napoleon was uh, very victorious, he might think that I am making my France very strong, very powerful. But that's all right. But you are not powerful, you have to go away. By one kick of nature, go away. That they do not see. This is called ignorance. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. So what is the meaning of this business? Suppose you have got well, that Mr. Ford, Henry Ford, he did a very... Now everything is left. Huh? He could not take even a single cent with him when he was dying. He, everything was left. Now... Uh, he has got another body. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. Suppose Mr. Henry's children, they do not know. Not only they, everyone, politicians, then they are statues, you are saved. But nobody knows where that Mr. Napoleon, Mr. Washington, Mr. Gandhi has gone. They do not know. They are worshipping the material statue. That's all. Ignorance. Bhuteja. It is called Bhutej. One of our big politicians, Indian politician, some astrologers said that he has become a dog in Scandinavia. But you cannot deny. You cannot deny. If you Believe. First of all, you have to believe that the soul transmigrates. That's a fact that we are doing every day, every minute. Simply, it requires little brain. Dhira. Dhira stattana mayati. Tathade yahantara prapti. Dhira stattana Dhira means sober. What is the difficulty to understand? I was a child. You are a child. Just like these children. Uh, talking uh, without any meaning, 
matter, their children, their excuse. But the same child will become a young man, old man. The body has changed. Uh, just like I was also a child, you were also a child. In childhood we have done so many nonsense things. But in this body I am not doing anything. I, I have to consider. Thank you very much. Nice.